guys, I'm Christy. You're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the month ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Leos in September? Oh, okay. Firstly, you have the Two of Swords, the Empress. The Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, so they've all come out together. Um, firstly, Two of Swords is the energy of overthinking. That's pretty much all I need to say about it, otherwise I will over talk about it and over explain it. But pr putting it simply, it's overthinking. Then you have the Empress, which is nice. The Empress means you're in a very, very healthy, abundant energy, you're looking good, you're feeling good. Um, the Empress is the best of the best that you could be feeling. Um, even if you're a man, the Empress is still very good energy, you've still got the card come out for you. So, um, yeah, for those commenting, are these just for women? No. You can watch these readings, no matter if you're a man or a woman. Um, Five of Pentacles is the energy of someone feeling... It, you could be feeling a little bit alone, maybe? Um, which is strange because you're also in this energy of knowing your worth and you know your value and you enjoy your time alone and you enjoy seeing your life grow and seeing yourself grow and it's very like you're in a very healthy place but then it almost feels like you might there's also this inkling of oh i'm a little bit alone or not feeling like anybody's there for you for some reason um yeah i'll clarify and see more what that's about it could also be t towards your finances you could just be feeling like you don't have as much as you would like right now um but i'll see ace of swords is clarity messages coming in um truth and authenticity and honesty so it's almost as if your communication with others this month is more authentic than usual and i'm not saying you usually aren't authentic it just sometimes it might be more to do with others than you because you are just sometimes playing off of others energy but there's a feeling that your conversations and your um, ability to kind of articulate what you're thinking and feeling is going to be very good this month. You're going to be very good at speaking your mind um, and expressing your feelings if, you're, if you feel the need to. Clarify the two of swords. Okay, the death card and the hanged man. Well, that's good. So... The Death Card and the Hanged Man, ooh, with the sun underneath, I knew it was good, even though it sounds bad. The Death Card is Rebirth, so it's an ending of the old for the new to begin. With the Hanged Man, so there's a sense of you being in this kind of limbo mode, waiting for your life to start again, waiting to, like you were on pause and you were just waiting to get going again, you couldn't get the ball rolling or you just felt a bit stuck, but there's an end to that. And you know it's time, you're, you're in this energy this month of like, okay, cool, I'm not stuck anymore, I'm not hanging, I'm free, I can move where I want to move. And then you're kind of like, well, which way do I move? And then you overthink it a bit. So the only thing you're overthinking is your next steps. Um, if you have been feeling a little bit like you were on pause and you've now hit play, it's like you're just recalibrating what your mission is, if that makes sense. Like you've picked up an old computer game, you've hit play, and you're like, whoa. How do the controls work again? What was my mission? What was what was my next thing? Like, it's just, you're recalibrating. You're kind of re-figuring out what you want to do next. Um, and instead of overthinking it, take the blindfold off. Get out of your head. Pick a direction and go. Because I just feel as if whatever direction you look, it's going to be the right one. Um, then you've got the Empress, and I'll clarify that. The Lovers. So... Your um, relationship, if you're in a relationship right now, um, it's very, very good because you are lovebirds, but also you're your priority. This didn't come out with this, with this clarifying it, if that makes sense. It came out with this, with this clarifying it. So you are in this very abundant, attractive energy, and so is your person, but you're your main priority. Um, so, which is very nice because I feel like. You're looking out for you, they're looking out for them, and then you're looking out for each other. It's like, win-win. Win. Um, very, very healthy. I don't know, there's something about your health this month. For 
for a lot of you. Um, I don't do health readings usually, like, especially if I'm doing a private reading or something. Um, it just feels too much. But there is something for the majority of you where you're feeling your healthiest. Um, you're glowing. For some of you, there's just a feeling of that being your priority and that being what you're working on and that being what you're seeing improve. Um, I'm going to clarify Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, sorry. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Um, you might feel a little bit like, so I know why the Five of Pentacles is here now. It feels as, almost as if the way that you're making money doesn't light you up anymore. It doesn't excite you. And that's making you feel a little bit like, oh, like in this energy of that panda. He just doesn't look very happy, does he? So with that Ace of Wands, it's like, where's my spark? And there's a new spark coming in, because it's come out. There is a spark, but there's just this recognition of whatever you're doing for your career, for a lot of you, your passion lies elsewhere. So there's going to be this kind of inspiration moment of you where you go, oh, that's it. Like, the light bulb. Ace of Wands can also be, like, the light bulb moment um, of, like, ding ding, that's where I feel called to. That's where I'm going. It's not where I'm at yet, but I know where I want to go, and that's all that matters now. Um, Ace of Swords also is that light bulb, because it's, like, an idea sometimes. It's an inspiration. Or Ace of Wands is, like, an inspiration, whereas Ace of Swords is an idea. It's a thought. Um, and it's also a winning mentality. I feel like you're... You have a winning mentality, even if you are in this five of pentacles, you're like, well, I know where I want to go and I'm going to get there. And it's very, pers it's like very perseverant energy, and I like that. Um, I'm sorry if I've spoke really quickly. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tall Tarot Tuesdays.